Greetings uh, and salutations, Selden here. Uh, just a really quick video today on uh, the concept of the breakthrough. Um, I'll just show you where I finished up. Uh, Platinum rank three uh, last season. Not too unhappy about that. That was uh, uh, pretty uh, pretty good. I got a couple of losses just near the end, uh, but uh, but otherwise, 38 wins, six losses. I'm happy enough with that. So just showing you some uh, quick games here, and I just like to uh, mostly play in the morning. I've got, uh, I've got my uh, eggs here, drink a few eggs, some gingerbread, get down to a game or two. Uh, and this one's been a really interesting game with uh, Flat Earth Map. Uh, been a really fun game. Uh, but. Um, He's finally made a little error here in allowing this breakthrough down here. Uh, and what a breakthrough does is, is when you've broken through, often, often all the forces are concentrated right at the front line. If you can somehow get around that, flank those, get into the soft underbelly, often you've got a large area, expansive, sort of under, undefended, uh, just IPC producing territory. What you want to do is try and locate those and see those. Basically what I did in this game was I um, he had a pretty strong West Russia. Uh, I came into Karelia, uh, and what I often do is then go to Archangel with all the forces. That forces them to retreat from West Russia to Russia because you're pinning both territories with, with your one set of forces. You're attacking two territories here, so he was forced to come to West Russia. Then West Russia, uh, you're forking Caucasus and Russia, so he's forced to move back into, or stay in Russia. Then just march into uh, Caucasus reinforce it with some uh, Japanese fighters and, you, and you've got that important territory there. Then uh, Russia was a bit too powerful to take but I was able to sneak some units through to Transjordan and you can get them into the soft underbelly here. A lot of say well it's just Africa. Africa when you add it up uh, sort of something like 10 or 11 IPCs uh, plus uh, and it's not just IPCs to your advantage, so that might be 10 IPCs to your advantage, but remember that's also 10 IPCs less for the other person. So it's a 20 IPC turnaround uh, every turn, economically unsustainable. You have to go in. The first, is the first sign of a breakthrough, you have to move immediately. What he probably should have done is last turn get a bunch of US forces into Africa or just sack a whole lot of uh, UK fighters and uh, bombers just to kill these. I sort of spread them out to make that less favourable. I spread, spread my uh, tanks out so it wasn't as attractive. That's what you've got to do. So this is going to be a fun uh, turn now of uh, basically doing a whole bunch of fun stuff like uh, let's do this. This guy will come down here. I'm not going to go all the way because he'll just get destroyed. I'll just I'll take this one in a blitz next turn. So pretty satisfying to be able to get into the soft underbelly and do moves like that. And then we're also going <clears> to, <throat> let's do things, something like this as well. Uh, take territory wherever you can here. Yeah, so really satisfying. Watch for the breakthroughs, try and get them where you can. Stop them, even if it's an IPC disadvantage in the actual battle just take that battle, you just got to stop breakthroughs however possibly you can, but otherwise a super interesting game uh, from, uh, this is a flat life of Flat Earth. Take care, I'll see you again soon.